back YouTube today we're doing a oil cooler and a oil filter remote housing relocation uh, kit on this 2010 4.6 Mustang here's the part number for the actual core we need to open the hood and uh, we need to get this front bumper taken off so let's go and remove all those bolts and clips right now all right so we got a clip there eight millimeter here clip there clip here clip 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 eight millimeter and then there's a clip over here once you get that top piece off you can sort of see what's going on here um, so I'm gonna have to bend and move the power steering cooler a little bit and the plan is to put the oil cooler right behind the inner cooler um, braces that way I can use the bolt holes there make a little bracket and then uh, have the bottom two nuts screw into that into that into those two bolt holes somehow now we need to jack the car up take off the under there's like a plastic under piece and then unbolt the corner of the bumper there's I think there's uh, one there and one in the middle on both sides and then we unpop this seam you just pull it'll unpop on both sides you're gonna have a bunch of silver ones those are on the bottom those black ones are in the wheel well there's only two on each side then you pull the clips and pop it out the bumper clips just clip in this groove here you just pull it and it'll pop out about three times on each side to get to the oil filter I need to uh, disconnect the blow off valve and the air intake tube and the mass airflow sensor here's what the cooler looks like it has these universal mounts on top and on the bottom and 10 AN fittings on the side this is a dual pass medium is what they call it so we need to make some brackets that will bolt in here uh, and hold this up in the front of the car here are the other three part numbers for the remote oil uh, filter and the adapter that bolts to the motor and the oil filter so I got everything out of the way now so let's try to feed this in here so this is gonna sit in here like so centered between the fog lights that obviously can't see because they're in the bumper just I'm gonna center it on the radiator area so what I'm gonna do is get a probably four inch piece of aluminum and then I'm gonna have that where it comes straight across the top then I'm gonna cut out a piece and then bend tabs down or bend tabs up to bolt here and there and that's all I'll need is just to hold it from the top with that kind of secure uh, bracket setup. So pretty much I uh, made this out of cardboard. Um, we're going to use the two screws on that on each side to mount the oil cooler on a plate. So this pretty much goes like this and then the oil cooler will be here in the front, right? So that gave me rough dimensions after I had the dimensions I had them bend me uh, just an angle like this because making that other piece is going to be too expensive so I just had them bend me this and now we're going to go through the process <clears throat> of cutting all the reliefs and getting this mounted on these two screws so what we're going to do first is 
take, we got 24 and a half roughly. Uh, so I'm gonna take 24 and a half inches out of the center of this two and a half inch side. So from the center, we're gonna go 12 and a quarter inches left, 12 and a quarter inches right. Above, we have roughly, I'm gonna shrink it to the closest quarter, three quarters of an inch of clearance. So even though I'm gonna take the 24 and a half out, I'm gonna leave from the edge towards the bend, I'm gonna leave three quarters of an inch. So pretty much everything where you see the squiggly line, this square is gonna get cut out. And that leaves us two inches on both sides to uh, mount and this angle will keep it rigid so the thing won't bend in the center. So on my first cut, it's a little bit tight. It's hitting up there, um, but actually it's not too bad. Um, so, I mean, it fits around uh, the evaporator right here, but uh, I'm gonna have to take a little more out of the center section here. I'm gonna have to take it down probably another quarter inch. And then we're just gonna slowly make modifications over and over and over. Now I'm gonna clear all the bends on this brackets over here, but I'm hitting on this corner and this corner. So I'm just gonna mark, mark it with a Sharpie and I'm gonna notch out this little spot right here. I'm not even gonna notch it all the way across. I'm just gonna notch pretty much from here to here. So cut out the things and guess what? No matter what, I'm gonna have to cut it all the way across. Just about, I don't know, half inch or so. So that stinks. So pretty much the half the distance of this notch, I'm gonna cut it across, halfway across here. All right, so now it fits. Next thing we gotta work on is a little relief for the corner of the bracket because it sort of sticks out a little. Um, but that's pretty much the relief you get for this hinge area. And now it fits right behind it. So this is what it looks like mounted. I'll show you the dimensions. Here are the dimensions. So the bolt holes are pretty much two and a quarter from the back bend, which is also the flange that mounts to the car. It's about one and a quarter from the face. And then I centered it just by doing the math for the distance of the bolt holes, cut it in half, went, drew a middle line on the metal, and then went half the way across on each side. So that'll be centered in our radiator support. Here's the other piece of metal that's gonna hold the oil filter relocation bracket. Um, so it started out like this, and then these three black lines are gonna be the bends. Then it's like that. That's it, inside 90, outside 90, inside 90. This is pretty much how it's gonna bend. And then the remote oil filter housing is gonna go like this and it's gonna screw through and it's gonna use a bolt hole on the bottom here and then the headlight one up here. All right, this was a pain in the ass, but Looks like it's gonna work good. So it went from this cardboard template here and turned it into this. And then getting these, this hole and this hole, which were already there on factory, uh, getting those lined up wasn't that big of a problem. But I had to get longer hardware in order to accomplish it. And then had to make a paper template because you can't get a marker this way right to mark the metal 
So I made a paper template from the back, just marked the outside, put the paper template on the inside, and then marked the holes. Um, I mean, it barely wiggles at all. Anyways, I don't know what you guys are running, but I only run Wix or AMS oil filters because they're pretty much identical. And if you don't believe me that they're good, go ahead and cut up a bunch of different filters and check it out for yourself. I'm not going to spend more money and make a video cutting up 25 different oil filters. That's what it looks like. All bolted up. So let's put it in the car. Now it's time to test fit the bumper. Obviously, the cooler's fine, but we just want to make sure that uh, nothing's hitting the filter on this side. So we have 37 and a half inches from that bottom 180 degree bend on the cooler to the filter center, which is the output, so the clean oil coming out. And then from the cooler top back to the engine is like 26 inches and then from the output of the engine to the input of the filter is 67 inches and those have two 90s so I had to write it like this because the different angles of the adapters if we fuck it up that's that's gonna be a bad day here's the tool we're gonna need part number 66974C. Um, this is what we're going to use to tighten all the AN fittings. Here are the lines all put together. So now we're going to go put these on the car and see what they look like and how they fit. So down here at the bottom, we got a 45 degree and a 90 degree. The outside connection is the output and the connector that goes towards that's the center is the input to the motor so then those come out and go to the front the input to the engine is this top straight one goes out back into the motor so that's the cold oil this not 180 degree goes to the oil filter housing so here are both of the lines that come one comes from the motor and one goes to the oil cooler so the hot oil dirty oil comes from the motor all the way under the cooler into the filter out of the filter back into the bottom of the oil cooler and then it's pushed through the oil cooler and back into the motor so this is what it looks like we zip tied the two lines together all the way until here and then these two lines go inside to the engine bay but try to make it clean once you put the bumper on you can't see any of that anyways but uh you know always do your best to keep it looking good now we got it on the ground we're gonna go ahead and start it the oil level shows it overfilled but the cooler's empty the filter we topped off all the way um, and all the lines are empty so i'm sure we're gonna have to add almost another quart so I'm going to have them turn it on for about 5 seconds, 10 seconds, because um, there's going to be enough oil in it to show up on the bottom of the dipstick, but then we'll top it off like normal oil change. Alright, we'll put the front bumper back on, everything fits nice. You can barely, if I zoom in, you can barely see the oil cooler, and we're going to put the top cover on, but pretty much you can't see nothing. Uh, I talked to him about getting a, a grill with the more that's more open. Uh, so he'll probably look around at the Cobra one or something. I'd like to thank everybody for checking out my video. But now it's time to say goodbye to this Mustang. And uh, hopefully it's not back here anytime soon. Goodbye. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Wrench on.